Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Hey everybody, my name is Rodney Dupree with Cajun Living and Cooking. And due to some of the tough times we have in our area right now, due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, we won't be able to go film shows. So uh, we're going to ask for everybody to stay safe like we are. Uh, use your Lysol, clean up. Uh, we're going to air some of our older shows, and uh, we'll have our new commercials on it, and uh, everybody stay safe. Check out the shows. Like us on Facebook, but uh, thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Tideline, trout line, sitting on a pot line, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, and mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Sitting on a pipeline Waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans Cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live And it sure feels fine Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking My name's Rodney Dupree And today we're back out at the Poche Plantation For their 2014 Fall Arts and Crafts Show Today we got a mini pot contest we got over 100 guitar players coming. We cooking some more hog. They got over 150 craft booths. They got plenty of good food. So y'all stay tuned. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all, they getting the fire started and the jambalaya's going out here. Let's get our first contestant and get his name and where he's from. I'm from Gramercy, Louisiana. I've been doing this for a year. Let me get your name. Jason Rickerson. What you uh, you in the process of browning your meat down right now, right? Yes, sir. And uh, so you're going to brown the meat down, get it down, and uh, throw in some rice, huh? Yeah, the water, and then you put the rice. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you get back to it, and we're going to uh, check on some more contestants. All right, y'all, I got another contestant. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm Tristan Messer. I'm from Sanimo in Ascension Parish. And, All right. Uh, How long you been cooking? About five weeks. All right, professional here. Yeah, uh, you know, it's really fun, you know, you do a little bit of jambalaya cooking, make sure you get your meat all nice and cooked. Make sure you gotta have, a, you gotta have good, you know, to balance your seasoning out. Right, right, right. So you've been in contests before. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, you know, we've done a few contests, you know, whether it be family or, you know, we did a, another small one a few weeks back. Have you took a first place yet? Not yet. Okay, well you got something to shoot that. for. Yeah. Yes, indeed. All right, bro, I'm going to let you get back to it. All right, thank you. you. You're welcome. All right, y'all, got another cook. Let me get her name and where she's from. My name is Amy Messer, and I'm from Santa Mall. All right. Now, you've been cooking a while? Uh, no, I, not this kind of cooking, uh -huh. actually. I mean, uh, five weeks. Oh, okay. So y'all on the same schedule pretty we much. on the same schedule. Have you won a first place yet? No. No, gotcha. this will be my first one. Who taught you how to do it? Um... Pretty much either myself or Larry Roussel. Oh, my old cousin Larry showed you, huh? Oh, that's right. All right. So what do you think is the key to uh, a good jambalaya in uh, one of these mini pots like this? I don't know. I think there's a bunch of different factors, like the color, the taste. Yeah. So So you got to find a fine way to get them all yeah, just right. sure do. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. I got another cook. Let's get her name and where she's from. I'm Isabella Messer, and I'm from Sanimo. And how long you been cooking in the mini pots? Five weeks. All right. Have you won first yet? No. Okay. So you got uh, you got room to grow. Now you got some good color going here. I see that. It looks a little different than the rest. What's your key to getting that darkness in there? I don't even know. <laughs> Making a hot fire, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Who now? Who taught you how to cook? Mr. Larry. Mr. Larry did. Cousin Larry. All right. Well, we're gonna check back on you in a little bit and see how you're doing. Okay. Thank you. 
All right, y'all got another cook. Let me get his name and where he's from. Rudy Russell from Hester, Louisiana. Uh, my dad, Larry Russell, this is my second time cooking my actual mini pot. I think I'm doing pretty good. You got good looking color in there, bro. I'm going to tell you, that looks good. That's the key to uh, browning your jambalaya is cooking it down real good. Now, you hadn't been in any competitions before. No, no, I haven't. So you've been practicing. How many pots do you think you cooked so far? This is my second one on my own. Okay, okay. So you've watched and seen I, some stuff I done. I just observe it and learn from there. Gotcha. So what do you think your key, uh, you, you, uh, you put the water before the rice or the rice before the water or the water, then the rice. But, okay. Uh, the, key, my, the key to me is browning. Yeah. You want brown, you want to cook it down real good. Okay. And, and then there's a fine line between brown and too dark, too. Yes. So you got to you gotta find all those yeah. mediums in there. Y'all yeah. all using the same ingredients. Pretty You're using much, the, pretty much. the Jambalaya Festival ingredient. You offered the same ingredients. You don't have to use them all. Yes, I brought a few of my own. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to let you get back to cooking, and uh, good luck to you. All right, y'all right, got another one of the cooks here. Let me get his name and where he's from. Uh, my name's Stephen Lamont Jr. I'm from Paulina, uh, St. James Parish, and uh, born and raised there, and been cooking my whole life. All right. How long have you been cooking mini pots? Uh, I got into it about two years ago. Okay. You've been in some competitions then? Uh, just a local thing uh, Larry Russell does. Yeah. Uh, been to his house. Uh, oh, to get together. But, mm hmm Okay. Did yeah. you take first yet? No. Uh, okay. not, not in this one. So you're waiting to get that? Yeah. So today you got room to to grow on yeah so. now well uh, what what do you find is the secret to your good jambalaya to making your mini pot jambalaya good oh uh, honestly i just keep it simple gotcha. uh, don't don't try to overdo it uh -huh. uh, try to get the good color good texture and uh i mean the ingredients gives it the taste so gotcha now just keep uh, it simple everybody don't know they're playing with an even battlefield out there y'all all have the same ingredients to choose from so you can't bring in some secret ingredient right but you don't have to use them all. You just got to use the right proportion of the right ingredients. Well, it looks like you got it going on. Yeah, so well, you get that color and texture right, the, the taste comes with it. Yeah, so. you're right. The worst thing you can do is over salt yep, it. Yep, yep. All right, well, I'm going to let you get back to work. Good job. Okay, no problem. All right, y'all got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm Connor Luke. I'm from Pauline, Louisiana. All right. How long have you been cooking mini pots? I've been cooking with my papa since I was little, like six. Oh, really? Stern. Gotcha. Have you won one yet? No, I just started. Okay, gotcha. I like that spoon. Let's show that spoon off. Right. Where you got that? I made that. You did? Well, that's fair. That's the right size spoon for these little pots. Mm -hmm. It's really unique. Uh, I've seen them before, the mini pot spoon, but I've never seen one exactly like that. Where'd you get that idea? Well, I just cut the spoon, like the handle off the regular spoon. Uh -huh. I just got a piece of tubing. I bent the other end, and I welded it to the spoon. I yeah. like that. Oh, so it's a regular old kitchen spoon. All right. Well, good. Look like you're getting some good color in there going now. Yeah. Uh, what's your secret, you think, to your your good jambalaya? What you think's your secret? Well, I kind of wish we had our own little stuff we could put oh, in there. Oh, yeah. So it could be different. So it's easier to judge. Gotcha. Gotcha. Everybody's got the same stuff today. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for talking with me, and uh, right. keep up the good work. All right. All right, y'all. got another cook here. Let's get his name and where he's from. Uh, Kent Luke, I'm born and raised in St. James Parish. I live in West Baton Rouge now, but uh, born and raised here, lived here most all my life. Uh, moved away for a little while, married this beautiful woman next to me. That's my sidekick, my co cook. All right, you got to have a helper. Oh, that's my helper. That's my, she keep me straight. That's gotcha. my supervisor. Now, you was telling me you've been cooking jambalaya since you was 18, but yes, you, you uh, hadn't been cooking mini pots long. No, just started the mini pot. I've been actually having this mini pot on my counter probably 20 years or so. My daddy gave it to me as a gimmick. He didn't, bless his heart, he's been gone for about four years, but he would have uh -huh. never believed we could cook a jambalaya in a pot like this. So it was our candy dish on the counter for a long time. Ah, uh, so what, what what got into you to make you say, hey, let's go cook a mini pot? I got a little cousin that's crazy about cooking mini pots, and she said, cousin, you got to come cook this. I know you can cook this. So I decided, hey, I'm going to polish up the pot and see if I can do it. And first one I tried, I tried it on the electric stove, came out beautiful. I said, well, this is All easy. Right. So, uh, We'll give it a shot on wood, and actually did it on wood, and this is probably my fourth or fifth time just cooking on wood. Wow. But, uh, wow. So you hadn't been in a contest yet? No, this is my first contest. First contest. First contest. Okay. Yeah. Well, I used to cook 
a lot of competition when I was younger for the big pots. Uh huh. Competition is fierce. People get mad at you. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, I like to cook for fun. I don't like people mad at me. You know. Gotcha. I just enjoy cooking a good meal. That's all. You know? Well, I'm gonna let you get back to it. No, good luck to you. Appreciate it, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> all right, y'all got Mr. Angelo's crew out here cooking the pigs and the dirty rice, and let's get their names and where they from. George and I'm from Convict. Columbus Smith from Marksville. Angelo Piazza Jr. from Marksville, Louisiana. Tony Stone, Hester, Louisiana. Sam Piazza, Effie, Louisiana. Patricia Piazza, Effie, Louisiana. Devin White, St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. Lil Selby, Long Beach, Mississippi, and that's my brother. Yes, indeed, Mr. Angelo. Now, you they were telling me you take the Bet one of the best pigs, take all the best parts of it, grind it up, and then you grind, put the and, and then cook the meat down right here. And then you'll cut up all the fresh green onions, all the other onions, and, and then they'll go into the pot too. And that's where you get your rice dressing. And you out here cooking the rice with all these big cookers out here. And then you mix it all together and then come up with the best dirty rice I ever ate. That's what I had for supper last night, y'all. It was really, really good. What's the secret to that? Well, I guess the experience through the years and the family I had. You got good help. <laughs> and look at these people. Yes, it did. They're all experts. This man, all of them. This man and this woman I've been with for 58 years. And we cook and we do benefits. And we out here to help these people to keep this alive. This is an old tradition. And I, we maybe need to go back to the old tradition. So it sounds like good ingredients and a lot of love. This, these are the finest people that I've ever met. Let's take a look at that dirty rice you got in there. Oh, yeah. Get, oh, yeah. Get the aroma, get real down. Now, if you get dizzy, don't worry, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. That smells good. That, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to get a little taste, y'all. Right off the top of the spoon. Right off the top. <laughs> Shipping and handling free. Man, that's good. That's good. That's good. And Miss what, Angelo? What makes it so good? It's all so fresh. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't and, get any uh, fresher than this. And it's, it's uh, cooked out in the pots and it's just, it's unreal. Awesome. Now, Miss yeah. Angelo, you, you, uh, you keeping a good thing going? Let's um, keep this hey, younger generation learning this. I'm going to be on. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. I want somebody to pick up the torch and just gotcha. go with it. Gotcha. It's, it's, look at these people. I have. Did you see what they ate yesterday? They ate. I mean, uh, 10, 12 hogs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that many more than. Yes, they. indeed. Well, thank y'all for hey, stopping and talking to let us. Let me tell you something. If you come into Marksville, come to my place because I'm gonna give you some stuff that you're gonna really like on TV. You got my it. My wife says I'm over patriotic. And my signal goes out in this country. He's all veterans. If you don't like this country, dial 1-800-LEAVE-USA. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, Mr. Angelo. And when we come back, I'm going to show you what's really going on. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Porsche Sausage, located in French Settlement. It's bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou blend. Come and experience Porsche sausage. It's a wonderful Fred's thing. Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. 
The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. and living and cooking. All right, y'all, I got an artist here, Mr. Tim Luke. How's it going? Good, pleasure to meet you. He painted the actual painting for this year's arts and crafts show. So they're selling the prints now. The, they are. the painting has the gone posters. somewhere else. The painting is gone. We auctioned it yesterday. And uh, coincidentally, my brother bought the original. Wow, yeah, wow. Yeah. Now, now you've been painting since you was a little kid. A little bitty, ever since I can remember, I've been painting. And, uh, you was telling me most things you do now is just... We do. Uh, the, the, the main reason why I paint now is uh, for things that go on in the parish. We do a festival of the bonfires every year, and I used to paint the posters for that, too, for six years going. And then when Mark planned this event, he wanted to have a poster made for the first annual yeah. Poche Post Arts and Crafts Show. He contacted me. I live in Houston, Oh. and so I came and talked to him, and we decided what the subject matter would be, and then I painted the picture, and we had the posters made. Awesome. Yeah. I want to thank you. That's a fine job. That's yeah. a fine job. Thank you, sir. And thank we just you. wanted to put it on there. Thank, thank you. And uh, maybe you'll paint it next year. Maybe somebody Absolutely. else will paint it next year. I'll paint it next year. I'm pretty sure. Okay. And then we'll have a totally different subject. Okay. We don't know what that is yet, but we'll get it done. Cool. Thanks, All Tim. Right. All right. Thank you. All right, y'all. We found a unique booth here. They got jellies. Let me get their names and where they're from. Roger Smith from Gilbert, Louisiana. And Rita Smith from Gilbert, Louisiana. How long y'all been doing this, Roger? 20 years. Well, all our life, really, but yeah. 20 years for the public, you know. Crawfish jelly, y'all. The old homemade crawfish jelly. Really unique. The old Homestead. Right. And that's the name of the company, the old Homestead. Old Homestead jelly. Now, uh, what made that name? Uh, we live in kind of like an old Homestead. Okay. We, we raised... Uh, built our place up ourselves, you know, but we use all more like a museum. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Now, what's the secret to these good jellies? Uh, they're made a dish pan at a time. Oh, we're not mass yeah. producing no. this. This is homemade. Dish pan at a time. All right. Now, uh, people can, uh, how can they get a hold of this? Uh, old Homestead, O-L-E, homestead.com. Okay. Or they can just call our number. Okay. Uh, five pepper jelly. He was telling me this one this was a little special. Yeah, it was voted in Rachel Ray's magazine as best pepper jelly. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And she cooked with it twice on her show. Did she? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank y'all for stopping to talk with us and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. We intend to. Yeah. All right, y'all. got Jason Robichaux here. And he's got it going on here. Got Griots, man. Griots. What's Griots the wraps. What's We're the doing? Name? What's the name of y'all's business? Oh, uh, we are with Buyer Fire Foods out of Raceland, Louisiana. Now tell them what's on Griot. Griot wraps is grilled sliced pork thin uh, with uh, grilled onions and peppers on a, on a tortilla wrap. Yes, indeed. That's that, I've been smelling the smells here. We had to come over and talk to y'all. Well, we're going to let him make one up now. Well, what's the secret ingredient to the uh, seasonings in here? Uh, uh, a lot of love. Lot of gotcha. Love. That's what you need, love, man. That looks really good. You got grilled peppers. You got grilled onions. And this is sliced thin pork with my own seasoning on there, and it's grilled off on a, on a griddle. Now, how can people get in touch with y'all? Uh, you can give us a call at 637-7804, uh, Bayou Fire Foods. Thanks, man. All righty. Thank you. All right. All right, y'all got Miranda here. She is cooking up some good food. Y'all, the smells coming from here is nice. Now, uh, tell us uh, what... what what uh, company y'all are and where y'all out of? We're Nicholas Catering and we are from Cramer, Louisiana. Now what you got here? That's a crab cake? Crab cake with uh, Cajun sauce. With yes, Cajun sir. Cajun sauce on it. Wow. And you got some cookies. Right. Oh, so this is our Uncle T's tea cookies. Uh -huh. um, and you can find these at the local Rouse supermarkets. Oh, really? Or you can call us direct and order them. We do them. Uh, we have lemon flavored, spice flavored. Oh, brownie and uh, the original tea cookies. Wow. Now tell them your phone number. How they can call you? Um, it's area code 985-633-9094. Or you can reach us at nicholascatering.com. All right. Thank y'all for the good work. Y'all busy. Thank I got to put you back to work. It's an awesome festival. Thank, Thank you.
right back after a few words from our sponsors. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by the today. The new completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po'boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown. Livingston Lower Supply and Home Center, an authorized Hustler, Bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer, specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, ports, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. Cajun living and cooking. All right, y'all, we're in the mansion now. And this is Jenna. How you doing? I'm doing good. Now, we got the craft table here. Tell us the history on this craft table. Well, this craft table, it actually isn't one. It's called a billiards table. Uh -huh. And um, it was built during Prohibition times, which uh, if you look at the bottom, there's two pins, and uh, it can be taken down and hidden in a closet in over and under a minute. Wow. Um, this uh, billiards table actually has been played on by three of three of Louisiana's governors, Governor Romer, Governor Edwin, and uh, the Governor of Convent. So Governor Edwards actually played on this table. Yes, sir. Wow. And actually, you might have guessed, but there's no Governor of Convent. It's a little <laughs> story we like to talk about. The Governor of Convent? Yes, sir. There's um, a man in Convent that will uh, play any role that he needs to as a lawyer, governor, or even a mayor. Uh-huh. Um, this billiard table is kind of strange. Neat, neat story right there. Well, I want to thank you for taking us a tour in here and uh, giving us a little time and telling us about the table. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi, here's the mayor, Mr. Bowie, with the results of today's mini practical. All right, we're going to give it to you in order. Uh, third place. Give me, that's right. Give us give the prizes. The prizes out here now. Steven, Jenna. Congratulations. Second place goes to Connor. Come on up, Connor. They're getting younger and younger. Oh, I'm telling you, younger. All right. Double winner. Double winner. Congratulations, Connor. All right, All right ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Poche Plantation. First annual mini pot jumble eye cook off. Cane Formers Cup. This is your winner. I guess we don't have to guess any longer, do we? 
Amy. Come on, up, baby. Give it up for her. Give it up for her. Yeah, they, they, they told me to ask this question now. Where are you from, Amy? What parish? Ascension. Oh. She killed the one or two jambalayas in her day. <laughs> All right, y'all got the third place winners here, Stephen and Jenna. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Now, uh, now that y'all got this, is there anybody you'd like to thank out there? Somebody that's helped you along the way or something? Yeah, I'd like to thank my dad. Uh, he kind of showed me everything I know. Uh, been, been around it my whole life. And, yeah. Uh, it's, it's been fun. So, that's that's the whole point of it, cooking for fun. So. Good, good. Congratulations again, y'all. See y'all next year. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. All right, y'all got second place in the pot and uh, overall youth. First place. So, man, good job. Good Thank job, Connor. You. Thank you. Now, who would you like to thank for this? My papa Paul and my dad. They, my papa Paul really started me off to cook and stuff. I really like him. He's fun to be around. But since all he's hollow, <laughs> but it's fun, though. All right. Well, you learned a lot from them. Yeah. Well, keep the tradition going, bro, and good luck next year. All right. Thank you. All right, y'all. I got the winner here, Amy. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Your, your jambalaya was really, really good. Thank you. Now, uh, who would you like to thank? Um, I would have to say there's plenty of people. Family, Larry Roussel for sure, because yeah. he's the one that he's into this, yeah. you know. So we spent a lot of time with Larry. Good, good, good. Well, I'm going to tell you congratulations and thanks again. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, y'all, another fine day at Poche Plantation. Good music, great food, and good fun. It don't get any better than that, y'all. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey, I hope y'all liked the show. Uh, during these hard times right now with the coronavirus, uh, things are going to get better. And together, we're going to be able to uh, fix this, you know. We're going to go back to normal soon. And when things do go back to normal, I want y'all to let us know your events coming up. When things are coming, give us a call. Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information, dctofla.com.